Hello everyone, my name is Nushin and in this video I want to share how I design my case study for my portfolio presentations and my portfolio website specifically for UX UI visual design and how I format my case study for like having a great impact on recruiters and employers in order for them to hire me as a designer. I have a portfolio project that I previously worked on but it's very uh, like simple it just has a uh, simple text and photos right now my plan is to make it more beautiful and more structured so this is the current format of my portfolio and as you can see it's very like um, simple it doesn't have any creativity the first thing that I do is I go to behance.net to just get some inspirations I go to the discover and I just uh, go to the uh, UX UI here for example I really like this one and I'm gonna save it to my case study mood board and then uh, to just um, have a kind of feeling of what I'm gonna do next and I, I'm just gonna get inspired by the layout and how they put everything together in what format and how do they uh, present their uh, design process so this one is so great and here I have my so I'm gonna go to my Behance profile and into my mood board here I have everything laid out here so I'm gonna just uh, take a screenshot okay perfect now I have an idea of what I'm gonna go through like I really like how uh, they set up their color palette here like this and the typography and I really like how here we have like big device small cups uh, from the details of the page or uh, like I really like the cover here. Here is uh, one of my case studies that I uh, created and as you can see it's very visual and uh, this is the cover then discovering the problem and I try to make it more visually appealing and here you can see I just uh, documented the user interactions uh, very beautifully because I want it to be eye-catching for the hiring managers here I just have all of the sections so let's start with the cover image my frame is 1080 by 1920 I'm gonna uh, just put the placement of the areas that I wanna have like a wireframe kind of thing so here I wanna have here as the cover image the description of the project after that I'm gonna think about the placement of my images and descriptions so here my case study is very text heavy but I'm gonna change it to having more images and I'm gonna have the content spread the, throughout the whole case study. I'm gonna have an image here we have the project summary
following my previous design uh, because I want to have a consistent design throughout my portfolio. Okay, problem statement. We can combine the image and description together in order to uh, just make it more exciting like this. I really like how they combine the top of the houses with the description. You can see how much a difference it can make uh, to make your portfolio unique and not just a simple text. UID is the user interaction document. You show like what is the function of each option. For example, I'm showing what's the function of this card, the question card, the picture, article. Here probably I have some text and also I try to put animations. So I'm gonna maybe have this in an animation format. <laughs> We're not copying the entire case study design, we're just getting inspiration. Okay guys, to recap, I'm gonna share with you my process of laying out my uh, content and imageries uh, for my case study. This is the part 1 video because the video got so long. I'm gonna create part 2 for you to just continue my uh, process of creating my case study project and with all of the animations, images and the text content. So in part 2, we're gonna like place all of our content and organize them based on the wireframes that I just created with you. Um, so just to recap, at first I go to the Behance and I'm just gonna create my mood board project in order to have, in order to see like what are the best uh, case studies on Behance. You can uh, see uh, like they have a UI or XD badge. This indicates that they are featured uh, case studies on Behance and uh, then I'm just gonna create screenshots and move everything inside Figma. Remember, I don't copy, I just get inspiration and I just see like how people are organizing the content, how do they make them more eye-catching for the like uh, clients or recruiters. This is my old case study, as you can see here, it's just the plain text and a bunch of images. Uh, with no creativity and this is my previous uh, case study that is more creative it's more visual and uh, the uh, content is easy to digest and uh, you can easily skim it and understand the idea of the project i reference my current case study here and i just uh, laid out everything cover project details and then uh, I'm gonna put some images to make them more visually appealing and project summary, my role and duration and the problem statement which is really important in your UX case study and again image, project goals 
and again more images and more visuals remember your case study need to be visual i see lots of junior designers that don't have enough visual design in their case study and that's a pain point the design process just begins and I have image again, um, initial design exploration. I'm gonna uh, like uh, put my first draft, uh, first design drafts, classic card, a concept that I'm gonna follow, the user interaction documents. I'm gonna put an animation prototype, a user testing, and uh, user testing goals, the key findings, and then uh, the visual designs that I'm gonna use as for the spacing, the paddings and margin sizes, the typography, the colors, I'm gonna use these dots and the results of the uh, overall project. I have four bullet points for the results and I'm gonna just uh, put each bullet point in its own a box that you can see here thank you so much guys for watching this video until the end please don't forget to subscribe my channel because i share videos about ux design and ux insights and design process to just help you to grow in your ux career if you're a student and if you're someone who just started in ux see you in the next video